Hey, my friends, how you doing? Thanks for joining Big Stew on my Big Stew Mystery Boxes channel. Hey, I just want to say uh, I'm very excited about today's box. It's a Doctor Strange, a Marvel uh, Collector Core box. But first, before I get ahead of myself, I'm already excited. Just wanted to show you my shirt from a couple videos ago. I got this from the October um, Loot Crate box, which had a Walking Dead Halloween type of a theme. And uh, this is uh, my shirt from that. So it's very comfortable. So I'm letting you see it. Now, let me tell you about, let me get it here. Let me tell you about my Marvel Collector box. It's a good size box, as you can see. Uh, very good size box. It's a little larger than the uh, Loot Crate boxes and the Nerd Block boxes. Um, but first, let me tell you about this. This box comes every other month. And it usually ties in, it's a Marvel themed box with Funko. So it always has a pop figure in there. It always has a t-shirt in there. Once we did in the Guardians of the Galaxy, we got a cool scarf. But besides that, we've always got t-shirts besides that one box. And uh, maybe this Christmas, um, we might get a hat or a t-shirt or, or a hat or a scarf again, because that came last December. With this box, so this box fits everything pretty much I like. I always like the t-shirts. I always like the pops. I always comes with usually a pop variant combo book cover to the theme of the box. And they've done previous boxes with Ant-Man with the movie, Avengers with Age of Ultron, Captain America with Civil War. So they've done the movies Deadpool. When his movie came out, they, they did the Deadpool box. So usually every other month when it comes out, there's a uh, comic or comic movie, Marvel movie coming out. It's usually going to be tied. This box will be tied to that. If it's in between movies, then it's going to be tied into something that's going on in the comic book um, universe, so to speak. When they were doing their relaunching of stuff called Secret Wars, um, we had a Secret Wars box. So... Very exciting um, to see the Doctor Strange. Now, this video, of course, is is out today, and this is the, the day Doctor Strange comes out at the movies. So I'm very excited about that. I'm hoping to get a Doctor Strange t-shirt so I can wear it tonight to the movies. I'm going to movies with some good friends, so I'm very excited about seeing Doctor Strange. So those who know me, don't tell me any spoilers about it. I can't wait, and I'm excited. But first, let's begin our Doctor Strange journey by opening up our box. Let's see. Now, these boxes usually come, usually come about seven different items. Um, that includes a pin, a patch, um, that comes in, of course, all the time. And then there's also the, uh, usually about five, I five items besides that. You know, one's a pop, usually one's a t-shirt, a comic. And so then then you'll get two other items sometimes besides what you kind of know already is coming. But pretty much from this Marvel Collector Core, I pretty much, you know, keep almost most things from my box because um, it just fits in the parameters of everything I collect. So I'm very excited about that. So I usually don't feel like, oh, it's a hit or miss, or it's going to be a waste. You know, I'm always, always been satisfied and happy um, with my uh, collector box and the DC box, which I'll have soon too. So let's open this up and see. Anticipation is killing me. Okay, oh, this is cool. You get a print in red of Doctor Strange. So cool. And then... Always in the top, you'll get your pin. I'll show you that in a second, and your patch. Now, I do plan on, I do plan on uh, taking my patches uh, from the first year. Every six patches I get in pins, I'm going to put them in a uh, frame, and then frame them on the wall. My son and I, we started collecting this box when it first came out together. Then he dropped off from it. So a couple of the pins I gave him. So I'll have to try to get those back. But I've kept all my patches. So, because I, I had always wanted to put those in a frame. And I never had a cool enough jean jacket to put them on, but then that would slowly, you know, wear them out. So, let's look at the pin first. It looks like it's the, uh, I believe I'm saying Aya Agamotto. If I'm, I apologize if I'm not saying that right. But that is a stone where I believe he gets a lot of his mystical power from. And I believe in the new Avengers movie when Thanos comes and does the Infinity Gauntlet. One of those stones is going to be this. And this is going to tie into all to Doctor Strange and the magical um, part of the universe. 
So that's why I'm very excited about this. It'd be very cool. Now, I've never been a super huge Doctor Strange um, you know, fan. He got popular in the 70s for a while. Then he came back hit or miss. But since Marvel, in about a year now, a little over a year, Marvel relaunched Doctor Strange when they relaunched their line after their Secret Wars series. And I really love Doctor Strange. The art and the writing and everything. I'm very happy with the new series of Doctor Strange. I've been following it. And so because of this new series, um, I felt like they've made Doctor Strange cool and relevant again. And the, the I'm really a fan of the artist, so it's very, very exciting. And so they've really built up Doctor Strange, especially to help promote the movie upcoming. So very excited. Okay, and here's the patch. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can put these back on. It always flips out. The boxes are always designed very similar. And I got a t-shirt, Doctor Strange. That's very cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to have to move this box this way. I have my Avengers little box here that I use as a table. I'll move that over. And uh, let's see what we got. I'm already ex excited. I'm, I'm going to like this. I know I'm going to like this shirt. Okay. Cool Doctor Strange shirt. Let's see if I can get that closer to you. And you can see that. It's in uh, pop design, which is cool. I like those a lot. My son's not a big fan of the pop shirts. He thinks it was a little bit more girly. Guys shouldn't be wearing the shirts with the pop designs. But I collect the pops in a big way, so I don't mind. And uh, so I'm very excited. So I definitely have a shirt to wear tonight when I go see Doctor Strange. So this is already starting to look great. I know I'm sounding a little geeky here probably. So anyways, if only those nerd block boxes I've been opening up lately can make me this happy, huh? Okay, this is a card for the next box we'll look at that and here's the doctor strange variant comic of issue number one which is pretty cool because i believe i mean they're already into the second year of doctor strange so this is neat that we got um issue number one instead of like a variant cover to issue number 13 maybe it is 13 14 where we're at now we're just a little bit beyond a year so i'm very excited about this a little trippy I like I like the design, very cool, and he's kind of levitating there, and he looks got his legs crossed and he's levitating, so very cool. So far, this is great. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's my pop. I have him. This is going to be Doctor Strange in an astral projection, and and it looks like here's a side view of it, and you can see it better. And very cool. Very cool. So I'm not going to take them out of the box. I might one day, eventually, most of my pops I don't take out. But here's some. This is exclusive with Marvel Collector Core. You can see that on there. Now, they do show the some other ones on the back. And there's another yellow one, golden one, where he's in his astral form. It looks like he's um, just standing there. And that's probably going to be exclusive with somebody else. But these are other ones. Now, in this line, I'll probably just collect one regular version of Doctor Strange um, in his uh, normal normal garb outside of the astral. So I'll have an astral projection one, and I'll have his normal one for my collection. But very, very cool. Very happy with this. Now these boxes, I'm always getting a pop I don't have because these pops are always exclusive that you could only get through the Marvel Collector Core box and the DC um um, collector core box that they do and legion of collectors they call the dc one so those pops are always exclusive don't it's not a chance i've already gotten it somewhere else so very very cool so so far i'm loving this now it looks like i only have one other item so we have one two three four five so there's only six items in this box normally there's seven so that i wish that there was more but i can see why it's because it's such a big box and it looks like we have a uh well funko's pop housewares it's um pop home they call the brand and it's a uh, mug of dr strange 
I've gotten uh, I, one other one. I got a Star Lord in my Guardians of the Galaxy box. I did trade that one in because I wasn't big, didn't really need it. But this one I'm going to keep, and I'm probably just going to put pencils in it or Lego pieces in it or something. So this is pretty cool. I like it. I won't drink from it, of course. It's too cool to do that. And uh, but I like it very much. Very cool. There's side view, other side view. So that explains why we have less because it's such a big box. So I am very, very happy with what I've got. Now, see here, we have something talking about our box. Always comes with a card and kind of telling you about the design. Tells you about the design of the mug a little bit. And then I'll tell you even the design and the uh, sculpting of the pop that goes into it. And then I'll even show you a lot of times the design of the t-shirts and uh, how that goes into it too. And all. So this next theme is going to be X-Men. So we're going to have an X-Men theme, which is pretty cool because we haven't had an X-Men theme yet since these boxes. Uh, this is probably, try to think, six, seven, maybe the eighth box Marvel's been going around, um, you know, every other month. So I think this is maybe my eighth box. Or seventh box I don't remember offhand but it's it's good it's around there and we have yet to do a X-Men theme one so that's cool when the X-Men movies came out they never tied one in with that because they are tying it in with Civil War they were tying it in with a spider-man and then they're tying in also with Doctor Strange so we'll see if this is gonna have anything to do with if we're gonna get some movie version tie-in wise or this is just gonna be straight comic book tie-in um box theme box so either way it'd be very cool and uh very excited about that so i would probably definitely i would probably definitely rate this box high end um probably an eight maybe give it a nine just because i'm happy with everything i would give it a 10 if i had an extra if there was seven items in here, since there was only six, or since, since there was only six items, I know I'm excited here. If there was only six items, I'm gonna give it a let's give it a nine, just because I think this stuff is cool. Maybe some people don't like the mug, and some people um, aren't big fans of Doctor Strange himself or the shirt. But I'm a geek about the shirt. I'm definitely a geek about the pop. The comic is cool. I already have the issue one. I'll probably trade it. And uh, but I'm definitely keeping my mug, put it on the, uh, put it on my shelf, and I can put knickknacks in or something. Um, but I wouldn't want a whole bunch of mugs. Maybe if we got a mug once a year, that would be fine. Because last December's box was Guardians, and we got a mug then. So as long as I don't get more than one mug a year, I wouldn't have any complaints. And as long as it's a decent mug of somebody, I can always put it on my shelf. Throw Lego pieces in it, pencils in it, you know, pens or something in it. So I can find something use for it. So I think it's very cool and I'm very happy. So I'm definitely rating this a nine. So I know a lot of people have said and made comments to me personally and, and some on on um, the channel that that I rate Nerblock really hard and I don't, you know, rate anything super high. But mark this down. I rated something a nine. Now just to give you a recap of some upcoming stuff, because I'm always promoting and getting you to come back. I have upcoming uh, two Nerdblock Junior boxes, one the regular month box, and then one that's going to be like a blowout box of, of mixed stuff from the, apparently from, from what I understand from the previous year of Nerdblock stuff, some leftover stuff. Then I also have, I believe, a Nerdblock regular classic box. And my son had ordered that, and so I'm going to do an unboxing of that Nerblock uh, Classic for the month of uh, October. So that'll be interesting. I'm assuming that's probably going to be some sort of Halloween themed also, or slasher theme. So we'll check that one out. So very excited. Just to let you know, um, so those are what we up have upcoming. Um, also waiting for a shipment of the the new dc um funko box is themed batman villains and apparently that closes first of november um just in a couple of days and then they'll start shipping those out maybe by the middle of november i also got a cool uh loot crate 
new thing that Loot Crate is doing. They're going to do their own Marvel box with, um, with Marvel, and it's going to be a, every other month also. But it's not going to have the Funko and, you know, pop figures and so forth in there. But it's going to have um, supposedly this new one. They've been showing some pictures. It's going to have a Doctor Strange robe. So that's going to be really cool. So I can't wait to have that in time for Christmas. I go walk around the house in my Doctor Strange robe. So how can that be even cooler than that, huh? So that's one of the reasons I got that box to try it out. That uh, box is uh, magic theme, Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch. They've come said and a few magic things i'm not that familiar with all the magic people in the marvel universe there's not that many i think there's brother voodoo i can't even tell you anymore that's really beyond those three that would be kind of the magical end of the marvel universe so but they mentioned dr strange and they gave a little picture of the robe part of it and then they mentioned scarlet witch so i imagine that there's going to be you know three four or at least four or five things coming in there so it's called uh um Mar I think it's called Loot Crate Marvel Goods and something else. So you have to check that out if you're interested in that. It's a little pricier than their normal $20 box. I believe it's a $35 box, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's $40 with shipping. So it's a little larger box. So we're supposed to get a little bit larger things or more things. Or maybe a little bit premier, premium things. So I'm going to try it out for a couple of months and just see how it is. And see if it's, you know worth my time and worth the value so i definitely would rate this box this was like a 30 dollars box with shipping and i think it's 31 dollars actually with the shipping and some change so to me i rate this box for that t-shirts worth at least 10 15 dollars my opinion the the pop figure um is going to be least worth i mean they normally sell for 10 or they normally sell for 11 12 dollars anyways being exclusive you know, it can go anywhere just starting off close to 15 to $20 anyways if, you know, somebody was selling exclusively in their own store. So just with that, the comic I can turn around and trade and, and the mug, I'm very, very happy with this box. So I'm very excited about this box. So my next video you'll see after this will have me wearing the shirt. So it's really cool. Can't wait to do the next video so I can put the shirt on. So anyway, so I'll catch you, my friends. Thank you very much for your support. And, uh... Big Stu says, big thank you, and I'll catch you later.